Hello guys, Kelly here again from Kells Aquariums. So, been busy. Uh, tank's still there, I've got my flash on on my phone because we're gonna we're gonna go under here while we're uh, talking because what I've been doing is getting this plumbing sorted. So, as you can hopefully see, all the hard piping is in and joined into the uh, sump. I have also piped in the so I'm just getting, I've been crawling about all day, my back's knackered. <laughs> if you hear me moaning and oh, like an old man. Um, <laughs> I've plumbed that in as well. I only had a couple of issues <laughs> in that I'd put the angle of this pipe wrong so that that was really slanted downwards, which didn't look much. But by the time it got to here, the pipe was down here somewhere. So I had to put a, well, put a, union valve in which isn't a bad thing it means it comes apart there and there but it also means you can twist it to get it to the right angle you want it's all solid as a rock with these clips it doesn't move at all there's a bit of rubber on the each side of these as well which keeps it really hard in place uh, it's just in there i've done a bit of electrics i've done them all apart from this side you can see a bit of action and it's just me it just things are just temporary in place for that wave mecha because I don't have the bracket to attach it to the uh, to the side here, which is where it's going. I've got one on each side is my plan. So I've run some air lines, some big air stones, because that's going to be my uh, moving bed section. I've decided I'm not putting them uh, egg crates across here. I've got a big thick piece of sponge that I'm going to cut a strip out of and just sit it on the top of that. So on the top of that, there should be a thick bit of sponge what just comes down to like here and then over. And it's real coarse, so the water will flow through no problem. It'll stop anything going through and it's a bit more filtration. It stops any muck getting further than that. I'm gonna look at what I'm putting in there at the sort of end of this video as well. Got a lot of media. I say I've already got some stuff coming out of other filters, but I'm gonna show you the new stuff I've got. So, right. It's a two big ball valves so I can shut the water off. You'll see there's uh, markings on each of these. That's just because you build it all when it's not stuck. Obviously, it, it was a bit loose, so things fell out. So I had to mark it up so that, as you can see, where I've wiped the, the uh, cement stuff off, it's uh, wiped it away. But that's just so I could match them up with the correct pieces in exactly the same place and angles. And I say that worked perfectly, apart from in one place there, where it just didn't. <laughs> it's that number three, I don't know why. It, well, sorry, it might be, it could be this side of the, this side, because number three looks spot on, but it'll be this one, what was wrong, so it was sort of in the wrong angle. But other than that, that worked really well, just marking it with a permanent marker and marking like all my lines up. Did more than one so that it made more sense. And then I'm using these rubber things again, just to clamp them down to the, the pipes that go down to the bottom of that bit of the sump. So there's a bit of, bit of madness here, again that still ain't done. I've just got to say once I get the bracket I'll sort this wire and that wire out and then I'll sort out this uh, the uh, tar wraps up there, or zip tars depending on where you're from. Tar wraps where I come from. <sighs> so I'm scooting, I'm scooting, up along. I'm like a dog pulling itself across the floor. Um, so I've got an EM400 gym plugged in that just literally plugs in there and stays there it's all on the wall you get less vibrations I've done well in my opinion I've been testing it but it sat on the floor and it was didn't make loads of noise but it made enough and then when I've sat it I've hung it off the wall because there is a it's on a rubber mount don't get much noise at all so that's an EM400 and it uh, goes down the pipes to them two check valves then into them big, there's, ah, ah, I'm stretching, there's two uh, decent sized air stones but we're going to push stuff around. And you get control, come on, focus. You get control of each line. So if you want it to be a bit, I can have one like going just a bit and the other one going full whack and I'll get a bit more of a circular motion I think by, you know, just having the, or I can stick one to the side. You know, I've got, I've got options. This looks a bit messy. But in theory, it's all quite neat. That plugs the pump, so that's why that one ain't plugged in. If there was all black tar wraps, that'd look bob on. <laughs> that'd look cock on, that, if that was a, 
all uh, black, but I ain't got any black tar ups. I've got millions of white ones. So I might redo that in the future. And as I say, most of my power packs are outside. That's the wireless for the light, wireless control. And as you can see, it goes down here. And then this might not be the greatest because I'm so close. It goes up to, that's all going to, oh, jeez, I'm dropping my phone. That's all going to get pinned down properly and I will replace it all with black tear up so it looks good. And that's the controller for the pump. And as I say, it's just on a, whoop, on a bracket. And I've ordered the same bracket because that pump comes with one from Ecotech and the other one done. not So, tedious. Because I just assumed, well, one came with it. I just thought all the products what had them controllers would come with one. So I've ordered one and we'll, we'll get that up and then this is away. But it is, I mean, although that looks a bit messy because of the white wraps and it just, you can really, they really stand out. On the all, I mean, it's not, there's no wires anywhere, really. You can see some of the uh, right hand side, but that's because they're not done yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. I had to, to try and keep all the wire into that side, other than the, um, let's say the wave maker, which the controller's just sat up there at the minute. I moved the light wire, which, with that being a blacked out side, all the wires going down there would be better. But it means you can't see all this uh, plumbing, which I'll also show you. That's where the, where the plumbing goes at this side. Again, attached to them rubber things. There's the Vortec. <sighs> I'm coming over here. And all I've done is put a couple of little tar wraps there so that you can't see the wire when you're looking at the tank. And then that all goes down to there, and there's my controller. So. That all has gone pretty good, so I'll be back in just one second. Well, it'll be less than that for you, as soon as I stop talking, really, so I should shut up. Again, so we're back. So what we have here is a few bits of filter media that are going in that sump. So it's down here. So what I've got is, I'll show you individually. So I've got Cipro X Mini, which that's a full box, and that's another bag of it. I've got some Biome Ultra. I've got some Cipro X. The big Sipper X, as well as the Sipper X uh, Mini from Sarah. And I've got five litres, and I've got three litres of that. I think a litre of that, and a couple of, uh, about two litres of that. And I've got five litres of K1 Micro. And I say, a decent size bucket because it weighs nothing. As well as all the, I say I've already got Biome Ultimate, um, EM Substrat Pro, all that already in my current two filters that are running on the tank that is all the fish are getting moved into there. So, here we go. Sorry about being out of breath. I'm running about to get the. I'm running about to get all these. So, what we have is Biome Ultra, which is sintered glass media. The Pond Guru sells it. Says a fair. We were a fair sight a lot of years ago. Been using it in every filter I've ever had since. Quite like it. It's one of the best, in my opinion. Again, there's a lot of opinions out there. I also. Oh, I like all the sintered glass stuff. Say Cipro-X, never used it, had a lot of good things. Again, sintered glass media, but in rings. You can tell how porous it is. You can feel it, you can see and feel how porous it is. That, you know, it's a good quality bio ring. I mean, some are smooth as hell and they're just, they're basically for catching muck when they're that smooth. Not, not for actually uh, doing much bio media. Uh, biological filtration, sorry. So this is Cipro-X Mini, which is, Exactly the same stuff as that, but a little mini pellet for smaller filters and tanks. You have to, you know, my hands are grafted. I've been I've been putting a day's work in, so and painting a little bit and stuff and all sorts. So you have to excuse that. But as you can see, just tiny little bits of Cipro-X. So I say all this is going to get bagged up, and then when I do quarantine tanks, anything like that, I can just pick a couple of bags up. Especially the mini, because that's awesome little stuff. You know, you can get a tiny bag of that and you'll, if you've only got a couple of fish. And just sling it in. And then, for the moving bed, I'm sure most people have seen this. K1, but this is K1 Micro, which is tiny, as you can see. So, that's for me moving bed. That works best in a moving bed filter, because there's not much surface area. In comparison with the sintered glass stuff because, well, you can see it's just a piece of plastic with no real structure. You can see the full structure of it there. <laughs> so that's all the surface you get. Whereas, oh, focus, my phone, I'm focusing. You can see how uh, 
porous that is, how, how gritty and, I mean, it's amazing stuff. So all this sort of stuff is for, I mean, it makes running filters easy these days, which is a right bonus. <laughs> so all the Cipurex biome and all that, the um, substrate are all going in there. It's all going to get stacked in there, in bags. So as it comes through mechanical filtration, it's going to come through three filter socks, through all of that, <laughs> and then two EM Pro 4 350s. Jesus, it's a lot of words, isn't it? It's wordy. Um, it's worth of media as well. All that's going in there. So I should fill that right to the to the uh, the edge of this. I'm hoping. And then that section there, where the, the bigger section is going to be the moving bed. Now I could always make that one the moving bed and just put like a piece of sponge in the bottom there. So, but we'll see. We'll see which I prefer. Whether I prefer a bigger moving bed or a bigger like uh, pass through floor through filter. So yeah, that's sort of it. But I just thought I'd let you have a look at the rubbish I'm doing. I'm always messing about. I do like to mess about. I like the I like the hassle. Of, I like the setting up of a new tank. I get really mad all the way through it. I really do. I, I keep getting annoyed with things that I, I measure things wrong. And because I say I've had look, pipes, them adapters there. I've had so many of the wrong size ones of them. I'm still I, I, when I ordered them two there. I ordered two of the wrong size before, even though I knew what size it was. Because oh, I'm a nightmare. <laughs> so. But yeah, we're nearly there now. I'm going to have it wet in, well, this week. This week it's getting water. I'm just waiting for literally a couple of little things and then we're away. So yeah, there's my filter media. Quite a lot of it. And it's a five foot tank. 5 by 2 by 2 It's got an, uh, 39 inch by 15 inch by 15 inch sump on it. So that's 132 litres. That's about 500 litres, give or take a couple. I think it's 496, which in real gallons, I think it's about 100, 129. And in American gallons, it's, uh, I don't know, it's about 150. So, there we go. Nearly there, so close. Thanks for watching.